So Green Touch, three fundamental principles. Uh, one is the collegiate working together. Another is redesigning bottom up, rethinking from the very, very basics. Um, and the other, uh, other principle is the idea of progress, of, of delivery step by step towards this goal of 1,000%. Um, and what we think we have here is something that's very emblematic of this whole spirit. And I'm going to reveal now the, the uh, and hope it doesn't topple over, the first technological <laughs> breakthrough. Now, I did it successfully. Um, this is what we call large-scale antenna systems, a large-scale antenna system. And the first thing to say about this is that it is the fruit of a team, uh, a, a consortium, a group of members of, of Green Touch. So it's typical and classic, and that's very, very important. Um, Huawei, iMac, Freescale, Samsung, Orange, and Bell Labs have all worked together on different aspects of this to develop the large-scale antenna system. I can only ask one of you up, so I'm going to ask Greg Wright of um, Bell Labs to come up and uh, show us how it works. And we first of all have to do a little bit of furniture moving because we have to put up some screens, so bear with us. So, first of all, what are we looking at when we look at this um, board? This is the, the large-scale antenna systems, and as the name uh, notes, it's a lot of antennas. But what, it's really, what it really is is a kind of fresh look at how to use many antennas to communicate with much lower energy. People have used you know, many antennas before for other purposes, but we're looking at it you know, from the ground up. How can we use this to get maximum energy efficiency? And one of the interesting results of our research is that, in fact, using many antennas for energy savings may be particularly significant. So just to be clear, this is a, each of these columns is, a, is, a, is an antenna, right? That, that's right. Each one of these uh, things with five brown squares stacked up is an antenna. And there's uh, six, okay. 16 uh, antennas in the array in total. So what was the problem that you set out to solve with this large-scale array? Well, today when you make a call on your mobile phone, up somewhere is an antenna, either on top of a pole, uh, on the side of a building, and typically that antenna is sending out its energy in a very wide sector. It doesn't know where you are. Most of the energy is, in fact, wasted. You're only in one place, but the energy is going everywhere. By using many antennas together, we can, in fact, focus a beam on you so that all we do is deliver the service you need, enough um, energy so you get the quality of service you require, but we can minimize the amount of energy it takes to do that. OK, great. Well, let's, let's go ahead with the actual demonstration because we have a, so a telephone here. So that's me. That's you. Say, uh, and I'm making a call, and I'm communicating via this large-scale system. So talk us through it. That, that's right. What's happening now is there's our, uh, our handset. Right now, we're, pretend, we're making this antenna system pretend it's what we have today, just one antenna on top of a tower or on the side of a building. So we're using, um, well, 100% of the energy which would we, we would use to today to send this, this phone call. And if we turn on more antennas, we see that the, the total energy drops dramatically. Now, to, to show that we're not cheating, if you turn to your other side, that graph in the middle is showing how much data we're sending. So it hasn't changed much. It's still right in the middle, which represents the amount of data sent on a normal telephone call. So even though we've dropped the total power dramatically, we're still delivering the same quality of service. And one of the key things is, you know, with this array, we can drop the total energy about a factor of 16. That's the total energy. So even though we're turning on more antennas, the, amount of, the total amount of radio power we're using is less. And our particularly interesting research result 
is that as you continue to double the number of antennas, every time you double the number of antennas, you can have the amount of radio power required. And we can continue to do that many times. But what, what is the secret? Because clearly it's, it's not simply a question of just piling up more and more antenna. No, no, it's actually all, all down here in the bottom of this box. There, there's a computer program which is running, which is constantly adjusting all of these antennas so as to form that beam, to make it follow the user wherever it is. If you're standing out in a field and can see the tower, it will just make a beam straight to you. But if you're in a complicated environment in a city, maybe it'll bounce a beam off of a building to get to you. It will adapt to whatever's necessary to get the signal to you with the minimum amount of energy. And, and it'll be doing this to all, I mean, all the individual users in a given area will have his or her beam on them. That's right. It can do this for many users simultaneously. So the key question then is, what contribution will this make to the famous green touch goal? Well, it's, uh, it's what we said we would do. It's something that works. And what we see it as is the first of a, a toolkit of technologies which our members can use to build networks which will realize Green Touch's goal of a thousand-fold improvement in energy efficiency. And just to be quite clear, this is not a mock-up. This is, this is... No, it's sending bits through the air right in front of you. It's working. Okay, great. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh,